the good offensive fighter. Sinclair and Ellis coming up later. First junior middleweight battle with a fighter referred to as the Gaddy of the Rockies. Let's hope that David Medina can be as exciting as he takes on Charles Blake. There's David Medina, 27 years old. This is a homecoming of sorts. He grew up in Colorado. The Army and life afterwards took him elsewhere. Trains himself in Junction City, Kansas. And he has won 10 straight fights after he lost his pro debut. Look at his last five fights. It's a group that has a combined 31 wins and 40 losses. Charles Blake came in over the contracted weight limit, lost two and three quarter pounds yesterday afternoon to make this fight, 35 years old. He's Detroit raised, California living. He's eight, six and one as a pro. And in his last five, he has one win and four losses. A familiar name started off that stretch. He was TKO'd by Ishe Smith. He also lost to another contender participant. Sergio Mora outpointed him back in 2001. It is a fight that could be exciting while it lasts. That is, if the pre-fight talk by Medina is delivered. I bring out the best in the opponent. I expect them to come like I come. I come ready to leave it all in the ring. If it means fighting until I can't walk anymore, that's what's going to take place. I'm going to fight, give it everything I have, and leave it all in the ring. And there's not going to be a shadow of a doubt in anybody's mind that I came to win. To me, where I'm from, talk is cheap. You know, I'm not one about all talking. You know, if you got it, then bring it. You know, let, let, let our skills do the talking. David Medina, crowd supporting him here. His family's from Colorado. He grew up here in Colorado. I told you that he trains himself in Junction City, Kansas. There's no boxing gym there in Junction City. Recently went out to Freddie Roach's wildcard gym to get in some quality sparring okay, with Peter Manfredo. Okay, spoke earlier in the dressing rooms. You don't understand the rules. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Anything below the navel here is low. Anything below here is low. Good luck, gentlemen. Touch gloves. The pleasant Curtis Thrasher, the referee for this scheduled 10 rounder. The ring experience between Blake and Medina. Blake has had more pro experience. Medina has the better amateur experience. He won an armed Ready. forces title and he fought in the Olympic trials. Fuck. 70 amateur fight for Medina, as you said. Good amateur background. Medina wearing the Mexican and American flag colors and Blake in the black with white trim. And Medina carrying that, those trunks and protector very low. The anti De La Hoya. Exactly. As you touched on, Blake has lost four of his last five, three by knockout, has been knocked out in his last two fights. A typical way to go into a bout. But one, one thing for Blake, he has fought the much better opposition. Medina has been in very soft so far in his career. All his fights in the Midwest where, as we've said many times on his air, he can build records. It's very interesting. Blake had that amateur experience. Then he went away from boxing. He gained a lot of weight. He went back to boxing to lose some weight. And he said, you know, I may as well turn pro. And they put him in against another Midwest fighter who goes by the name of Donnie oh, McCreary. Oh, there. there it is. Right hand, slow left hand by the tentative Blake. And no tentativeness in that right hand over the top by Medina. You okay, right? You know, a jab is a great weapon if you snap it out at the right distance. It's a dangerous weapon if you pull with it. And Blake just found out why. Pouring with that left jab and the right hand crashing home. Still over a minute to go here in this first round. So far, Medina living up to his promises in the pre-fight talk. Blake almost got caught that time trying to exchange. And there's another right hand that comes in, and Blake goes crashing down. Well, we just said, difficult to come into a fight off two straight knockout losses. Make it three straight knockout losses for Blake. 
He was already in a bad mental state getting into the ring tonight, and then that first right hand by Medina put him right back to where he was the last time he was in the ring. And interestingly enough, Teddy, there was some concern with folks here in the, among the Colorado Commission in terms of whether or not Charles Blake should even take this fight, having lost three of his last four bouts and having two knockouts in his last two years, because they used the Boxing Severity Index here, and he was a plus four, which is starting to get to that area of concern should he be in the ring fighting. Yes, anything from a plus three to a plus four is a high-risk category. Anything above that, the commissioner came up to me and said, Teddy, we would not have allowed him to fight. We were on the edge about him being a plus four. We were concerned about letting him fight. We made him do all kinds of new neuro tests before the fight. They came out clean, and we decided to allow him to go and fight. But as you said, there was some trepidation from the commission here whether or not to allow Blake to box. 35 years old, now 8, 7, and 1. And just to give you a clue as to what that boxing severity index is, a plus 4 means that between your activity, your recent record, if you've been knocked out, your age, your ring age, which is basically your boxing odometer, the higher the number, the worse state you are in in terms of entering the ring. A plus 4, not very good. This is the result you get when you match a guy who's a minus 1 against a plus 4. David Medina showing the power here in round 1. Let's take a look back at the first knockdown, Teddy, walk us through it. Well, you're going to see a slow left jab that's going to leave an opening, an opening for that, a right hand. Slow jab, fast right hand, down goes Blake. Now we'll take a look at the final knockdown. Right hand, left hook never got there, was not necessary. We'll take another look at it. Blake up against the ropes. And as you can see right there, Medina landing a right hand as the left hand once again moves away from the draw of Blake and Medina right there to cash in. David Medina, he lost his pro debut and he has now won 11 straight fights. You know, a lot of things going against Blake. The smaller man always fights between junior middleweight as low as 150. He's been middleweight and Medina all the fights between middleweight and super middleweight. So you had a bigger, more confident guy in there with a smaller Blake. Third straight time, Blake is knocked out. For the official particulars, let's send it up to the ring to Wally Cotton. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for these two combatants. Your winner, by way of knockout at two minutes and two seconds of the first round, the new WBC USA Super Welterweight Champion, David Strictly Business Medina. David Medina now 11 and 1 with the knockout win over Charles Blake. It didn't take long. Born and raised here in Colorado, he comes back home and cashes in. Two big right hands put Blake down. When we come back, we'll wrap up last week's Friday Night Fights controversial ending.